For many, a puppy is the perfect Christmas present. So I've been without a dog now for a year after having dogs all my life. Um, time's right and time's um, good um, to have a dog all by myself now. Um, two children in my house as well um, and we'd love to have a, a family dog again. Last year alone, the Dog Trust received 3,400 calls in January from new owners wanting to give up their dogs. I think in the weeks following Christmas last year, just in the area of this centre alone, we received over 900 calls for people wanting to hand over their dog, and that's an awful lot of unwanted dogs. It's not just Dogs Trust, we all struggle to meet the demand, particularly at this time of year, and that's really sad. Rebranding themselves for the Christmas season, the Dog Trust is now the Socks Trust, in hopes that socks will become a more popular gift than a puppy this year to stop impulse buys. Kaya is just one of the thousands of puppies that will need rehoming here in Manchester this Christmas. However, the message is that puppies aren't just for Christmas, they are for life. They're not just a present on Christmas Day, but a responsibility that owners must take on for life. If you are set on getting a dog around Christmas, then definitely do your research on the breed. Um, don't just go for the one that looks the cutest because, for example, beagles are incredibly cute puppies, but when they are adults, they require a lot of work. The Sox Trust is ensuring that people are aware of the responsibilities that come with buying a dog. For many families that, that, that will be appropriate but we just ask people to put an awful lot of thought into it because obviously the puppy is still there after Christmas when the parents have to return to their work, uh, the children go back to school and the reality of owning a puppy can then really kick in. A dog is for life, a saying that has still not hit home. Laura Bailey, Keys News.